In a lush and bamboo-filled forest, there lived a little panda named Pogo. Pogo had big, round eyes as black as coal, and a soft, fluffy coat that was as white as snow. He was the cutest panda in the whole forest. One sunny morning, Pogo woke up to the sound of his tummy rumbling. I'm hungry, he exclaimed. So, he set out on an adventure to find some delicious bamboo shoots. As Pogo hopped and skipped through the forest, he met a friendly squirrel named Squeaky. Hello Pogo, said Squeaky. What are you looking for? I'm looking for bamboo shoots, replied Pogo. My tummy is rumbling like a volcano. Follow me, said Squeaky. I know where there's a patch of the juiciest bamboo you've ever tasted. Pogo and Squeaky followed a winding path through the trees until they came to a clearing. There, in the middle, was a huge clump of bamboo shoots just waiting to be eaten. Pogo grabbed a bamboo shoot with his sharp claws and took a big bite. Yum yum yum, he said. This is the best bamboo I've ever tasted. Squeaky took a bite of a bamboo shoot too and agreed. It's so delicious and refreshing. Pogo and Squeaky spent the rest of the morning munching on bamboo shoots. They ate so many that their tummies were very full. As they were leaving the clearing, Pogo noticed something shiny in the grass. He picked it up and saw that it was a silver spoon. Wow, he exclaimed. This is a magical spoon. How do you know it's magical? Asked Squeaky. Because it makes everything taste twice as good, replied Pogo. Pogo and Squeaky took turns using the magical spoon to eat their bamboo shoots. Sure enough, the bamboo shoots tasted even more delicious than before. They continued their journey through the forest, singing and playing all the way. As the sun began to set, they came to a beautiful waterfall. Pogo and Squeaky decided to take a swim in the cool water. They splashed and played until they were tired. Then, they climbed out of the water and dried off in the warm sunlight. As they were getting ready to go home, Pogo noticed a little bird sitting on a branch. The bird was singing a sad song. What's wrong little bird? asked Pogo. I've lost my home, replied the bird. It was in a big tree, but the tree fell down in a storm. Don't worry, said Pogo. I'll help you find a new home. Pogo and Squeaky searched all over the forest for a new home for the little bird. Finally, they came to a tall sturdy tree with lots of cozy nooks and crannies. This will be a perfect home for you, said Pogo to the bird. The bird was so grateful to Pogo and Squeaky. She sang a beautiful song to thank them, and then she flew into the tree to build her new home. As Pogo and Squeaky made their way back to their own homes, they talked about all the adventures they had had. They had eaten delicious bamboo shoots, made a new friend, and helped a little bird find a new home. It had been a perfect day in the forest, and Pogo and Squeaky couldn't wait to see what tomorrow would bring.